life with the Logans. Uh, where everything's we. Everything's we. We're down and devoted to our friends and family. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And how we love one another. That's right. Oh, that's right. We're gonna be together for life. to the JD grand opening on State Street. The uh, talent is here, belly out, which is kind of like a everyday thing now. About to head over there, shoot some content, and then go get something to eat. I probably needed a jacket, but I didn't feel like wearing one. It's actually not that cold. Downtown State Street. You can see State Street is Hoppington. And he got the ones on. She got the Chicago ones on. One. He goes the two, two, three, two, three. Got the fog joints on. I'm fully, I'm fully essentialed out. Fear guy hat. Essentials 1977 T. Or like polo thing. I forget what they call this. Uh, a Henley with a collar on it and then minimal jeans. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be really uh, chaotic when I watch that back. It is, all the, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right, we are in JD Grand Opening. Whitey's right here talking to the homies. Just left the JD event. It's uh, pretty cool, man. Got some good stuff in there. Vicky's taking selfies. Now we're about to go eat. About to find some food. Food. So. She's hungry. She by she I mean me. By she I mean me. She hungry. Got to got to feed her. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. So. I mean, the, I don't really the care. The Smith is over here. I'm, uh, the Smith is not over here, but it's near. Whatever you want to do, I don't care. Half mile away. Whatever you want. I was going to say, I, I was going to say Mercadito. Whatever you need. But I don't really want shrimp tacos. The Smith got good rigatoni. Yeah. They do. We'll go to the Smith. Thanks. You guys are helping us. <laughs> Problem solved on the go. And uh, shout out to JD for a nice event. Got me some taxi ones. Got, got the babe. Got some, the babe. Some, some, new, some new balance. Some new balance. I need some shoes for my fat feet. Yes, mom shoe. <laughs> it don't. It just don't flow as good. Like dad the shoe. Dad shoe. They're still dad shoes. Dad shoe. Mom shoe. No, they, they don't go. Atwood was on there too. What is Atwood? I don't know. It just looked boring. It's All right, there. pulling up to the, <laughs> pulling up to our parking garage. Check in with y'all in a minute. What up, people? Ain't checked in in a minute. It's Sunday. <laughs> a lot going on. I'll fill you in later. But we're here at Top Golf. About to hang out with uh, my sister and her little friend. 
So <laughs> we can stop calling him her little friend. Her little friend. Her little friend's her name little, is Daniel. Her little Daniel's, friend. Her his name is Daniel. His birthday is today. Her little friend till further notice. I don't care how tall he is. Okay. Yeah, right. Because you liked him before four, she did. Six four self. So can we just tell the story? No. Because Cam liked him before she did. So. No. No, he's really a great guy. We love him. We like him. What number? 223. 223, right here. Look, he was in a swing, homie. He was in a swing, homie. <laughs> She's on fire. Lexus low key won the first uh, Angry Birds game. Now we're playing this other like target game. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you finna go viral. Dreams? Yeah. Ooh. No, I didn't go that far. It stopped you, but you made it all the way. Oh, he gave me. My sister, let me get this up to beat it. Now it's my turn. Come on, cuz. I was trying to do the ring. Come on, cuz. Record me, cuz. You didn't record me. I got you on the phone. Oh. <laughs> you heard her? She tried to be a bottle girl. No, I said that's what ah. <laughs> Bottle girl. Oh, with the sparkles? Yeah, with the baby. That's what they do. She's <laughs> 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 good. Sweet. Did you get it in the white one? Yeah, he hating on me, baby. I thought he was saying it's spice because he's he Mexican. <laughs> That's racist! Oh, it's coming over here. Oh, no. Get it! Get it! Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. I was going to say, he can hit that, but he can't hit the ball. Oh, gotcha. Oh, there it is. Vicky been out here killing. Vicky been killing today. Must be oh, my baby in there. Yes. It must be my baby in there. Oh, you <laughs> <miss>. <laughs> there it is. Two of them things. Go for the blue. Go for the blue. Uh, or is that green? Green. Green. I cannot see colors today. I don't know what it is. That's the one that like drop down and it's so crazy. It's a spider up there, and he's definitely... He, I'm surprised he ain't burnt dead on that heat. What up, beautiful people? We are in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Our hotel is not ready yet, so we're about to go meet up, link up with Norris. I need to charge my phone and stuff, but we are here for a super cool event. We won't get to take the camera into where we're going, so I'll show you some phone clips 
once we get there, but it's gonna be lit. Been trying to get down to Tulsa for some time now. So me and Evan can get to work. And LaShawn is singing uh, this week. It's gonna be a time, man. It's gonna be a time. A lot of faith-filled believers gather together, lifting up the name of Jesus. So, yeah, man. Power walking through the airport this morning. Yeah, we almost. Cause this guy. I I said we should have left at six, and you was like, no, seven's cool. I was ready at six thirty. You you weren't even ready yet. Cause if we say seven, I'm gonna be ready at, at seven. seven. We left at seven fifteen. We didn't leave at seven fifteen. We left the house at seven oh seven. Anyway, we made it. I was ready at six thirty. We needed to actually leave before 6.30. Anyway. If we left at 6.30, we would have been there on time. We left at 6.30, we would have been there exactly at the perfect time. Yes, that's what I mean. At any rate, we didn't get to sit together on the plane because we were the last people on the plane. Going up. I ain't gonna cap. I'm hungry again. Really? Yeah. She's hungry. We just had Waffle House. It wasn't really that feeling. I'm, I wasn't full. I was hungry. I wasn't really trying to figure out the best food to eat at this particular juncture. So, I'm gonna sneak up on Norris. Hey, Norris. Hey, Norris. Hi, hi! Oh my God! I'm on the. <laughs> He in here worshiping. It is. This joint is nice. It costs nice too. <laughs> it's cheaper than a discount. That's how What's going on, family? Listen, this is uh, Baby Moon numero uno, because we plan on having two more. That was a rhyme, and I didn't even try. Like, that was kind of fire. We are here at the beautiful, the wonderful, Nobulos Cabos. This is our first day. We just got in. We just been chilling in the room, but we hungry. And in-room dining wasn't looking very appealing to me for what I want. Yeah, this is our room. We have pretty much the same room that we had the last time we were here. We just don't have the private pool. Got the ocean view. We had a free upgrade. Shout out to Amex. Oh, I thought you had changed it. I don't know why you gave me the camera and didn't change the battery. I told you to change the battery. Okay, we back in action. Look at my pregnant baby mama. Look at my baby mama. She got two lumps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're about to go eat. We're going to the uh, Mexican spot, Pacifica. Fly bar? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. You got the key? Yeah. No. No. Mm, child. We almost left without the key. For some reason, vacation just is making me horny. Okay. Sorry. One, one, four, two. All right, bet. So, I don't know what these face. Right, from there to there. Hold on. Crikey. We got a big guy. We got a big guy over here. He's posing. Vicky loves lizards. She, I do, I want to so touch excited. him. You know I love animals. I feel like all of that's new. Our room was right there last time. I mean, technically we could, no. Right there. Are these the pools they're talking about? You just went up. But the private pools look just like this. 
Okay. Except they're not facing everybody. I took a drone pic of this little section. It looks fire. It's like, it's just like a. Those are swim up rooms. It's like a maze. Nice area to take. Pictures. Right. We missed all of this. We did not. Yeah, we did not walk. We didn't walk like. We didn't walk that way. Super nice. My God. Got the sea bass tacos. We can get burrito. We got some chips, guac, roasted tomato sauce. We got a little refresher. And I got a guava concoction. I, I don't know what it is, but it's time to dig, in the words of LaRocco. We are grounding right now, walking on the beach. Me and my two babies. Earthing. Uh, people were asking oh, me if no, I. My feet uh, hurt. I know we gotta we gotta get to the good part. This part. Can we get to the good part? <laughs> this part is kind of rocky. <laughs> oh, sushi bar coming soon. Oh, that's what we needed. You was somewhere in the future. I've been craving sushi for three months. Well, this hurt. Wait, it's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Perseverance, perseverance. this look at this at nighttime that water be coming all the way up here that's crazy the tide. don't you go any closer I, you do not have to worry about me Thing about over here by the ocean, guys, it's always extra windy. So like anytime I throw the drone up, it always... Wind warning. Wind warning. It's really crazy how we stayed in the biggest, one of the biggest rooms on this property for $400 a night. Yeah, during COVID, we had one of the best rooms. I'm still, I'm still shook. Literally, literally one of the best rooms that you can get at Nobu during COVID and that same room now is like four times the price so literally four so times. there's that this sand is your sand this sand, well, this sand was not giving what it was supposed to have gave this sand hurt I ain't gonna cap this one might not have been a good idea ah uh, I feel like I'm walking shift huh huh <laughs> really tired yesterday not really tired but my body was kind of tired my feet were super swollen girl my ankles, my ankles. <laughs> it doesn't help that I have really flat feet so I probably have to work harder than most people to keep them not swollen my tailbone hurts just a lot of things but just trying to drink enough water keep my feet elevated you know they say swimming is good for swollen ankles and feet so gonna do that today we have a a free brunch which basically is a timeshare meeting because <laughs> they're building new residences over here so they invited us to see like the plans and stuff for it and what it's gonna look like and all that and basically like try to get us to buy i'm interested 
we not finna buy nothing right now. But I am interested. I do want to know. Last time we did the um, little timeshare thing at Diamante, it was actually very informative. And I almost was like, let's do it. But we wouldn't finna spend that money. I'm glad we did because now we're pregnant and we need that money for the baby. <laughs> we're going to that at 11. We don't really have any other plans though for the rest of the week, honestly, except for golf. But that's all we're doing is just resting, which is very much needed. We got the honey toast. It looks bigger than last time. Cam got these tacos that I want to try. We got green juice. You remember now? I wonder if this flower edible. Cause I'm about to kill all this. I feel like you say that every time. Sometimes flowers are edible. Sometimes they're edible. They make they make edible flowers. Did you just eat deer? I slept good until it was morning, and I. This is up good because you got ashes everywhere. I know. I slept good until I realized it was morning, but I couldn't tell what time it was, and I was mad. I missed the sunrise. That blackout. Why I slept so long? Yeah, because it's dark. I couldn't see. Perfect. I, mm -mm. I need to be able to see the sun come up. No, baby, we have nothing to do. Good evening, governor. We're at dinner. It's good. What is it? Got meat, peas, carrots, tomato, got milk, got beef. On a toastito chip. <laughs> On a scoop. Um, yes. We're at dinner. We're at Pacifica. It's Taco Tuesday, so Cam wanted tacos, even though they really don't have like taco tacos, but they have dinner stuff that you can make tacos with. So earlier today, we went to the pool after we did our seven hour presentation. Um, it took a lot longer than we expected, but we went to the pool after that. Um, and just relaxed by the pool or whatever. Had a good time relaxing, and then now we are at dinner. Um, we were gonna go kind of far out, but I decided, we both decided we didn't wanna be in the car for an hour. So we decided to just stay here and eat. So we're eating at the, you know, their main restaurant. Other than Nobu, obviously. My hair is not blending with these clip-ins because I just got my ends trimmed. So my hair is like kind of blunt. So I was trying to like mix my hair with the... This is the first and last time I am coming on vacation with my little hair out. Uh, Tried to tell you to get braids. I just, I didn't have time. I did not have time. I didn't have time to drive to the city to get braids. Um, because my parents were coming in town and we had to be at church by a certain time. So I just, I didn't have time to do the full glam, the full beef, you know, with my hair. My mocktails have been great. But yeah, that's why I don't have braids. I also didn't really want braids because I didn't want to be stuck with something for too long. Honestly, this baby just be making me want to be a bum. I really don't feel like being cute, but the, until I need to be cute, and then I'm like, oh shoot, I probably should have got my hair done. But any other time, I don't care. Like, I really don't care. I'm um, glad we did that presentation because our food is going to be free. Barely. Not really. I only brought one of them, so we'll get some money off, but we won't get a whole lot of money off. But hey, any money off is money off, all right? Right. Either way, it's a win. A win is a win. A win is a win. When's the win? I don't think you know what hikama is, but that's why I was like, you should just order something else that has tortillas, because this is not a real tortilla. Hikama is like a, it's a vegetable. It's a big old shrimp. Oh, yeah. The sauce is really good. It's smoky. You have hidden. It's doing, it's doing pretty solid.
What's going on, everybody? Listen, today was a cool day. Today, we kind of slept in a little bit. We had breakfast in the room. Uh, I don't know how much we vlogged today. We didn't really vlog that much, but we had breakfast in the room. And then, then today, we got to, uh, we played golf. Or I played golf. And Vicky came along for the ride. We played at Solmar Golf Links, uh, formerly known as Rancho San Lucas. Uh, Greg Norman Design, it was super, super dope. Super, super dope. They got an island green, kind of similar to TPC Sawgrass in uh, Florida. And y'all, this place was laid out. Obviously in Cabo, um, if you haven't been, they typically have like comfort stations at the nicer golf courses. You can get food, you can get tamales, you can get margaritas, you can get tacos, you can get candy, cookies. Man, they have it fully spread out and it's included in the price of your golf admission. So, uh, you know, you just leave a tip if you want to. Um, typically, you know, that's what you do, but it's unlimited. So you typically get it twice on the front nine and then twice on the back nine. So we had some really good food, uh, really good beef tamales. They didn't have no chicken for my, for my baby, but she ended up getting some beef, beef tamales. The beef tamales were A1. Uh, I didn't play as well as I wanted to. I still played good. Shot a 77 today from the tippy tips. 7,300 yards. Man, it was some super long par threes. Like I had a 273 yard par three from the tips, uh, downhill adjusted it was like 243 but it was into the wind so it still played like 255 260 um man it was crazy a lot of the par fives were challenging they were easy but they were challenging like if you don't keep it in the fairway you, you know you're hitting out of the gravel hitting out of the the, the rocks i heard a few you know rattlesnakes in the area so you know you just got to be careful but uh we had a good time i'll, I'll do a whole another spiel at another time because I'm a big golf fan, like big, big, big golf guy. So uh, I, I need to start incorporating more of that. My wife has been telling me this for years, but I need to start incorporating more of my golf, golf things into like what I post and things of that sort. But y'all, it was dope. Food was great. Cause I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, she don't be knowing what I'm, I'm talking about. I'm like, okay. Anyways, but yeah, it was, it was, it was really dope. Um, <laughs> Practice range, practice green, chipping green. They have premium range balls, TP5s, TP, premium TP5s and TP5Xs. So now we're back in the room, we're all dressed and we're about to go to the steakhouse, get some good steak. So I kind of need it. I burned a lot of calories today, uh, even though I still kind of ate good, but I'm not like starving, but I'm gonna give me a good steak tonight. Wifey's looking good, baby bumps looking good. You know what I'm saying? My babies is both in there looking good. So yeah, she got a lot of good compliments today on the golf course. And uh, yeah, so now we're headed out. Ready? Mm -hmm. Headed to Ardea Steakhouse. Ardea. We had the little uh, residences presentation there yesterday. Yesterday morning. That took entirely too long. So yeah, we're about to go eat. Okay, it's still kind of light outside. Vicky was trying to rush me. Because you know they're down there, so. You want to you walk through this little gateway thing and get some pics over here? Maybe. So yeah, and now, we're on, now we're on. Now we're on picture duty. On it's picture duty. Light, it's light right here. Yeah, the sunset, the sun is setting. Um, so got to get these pics in before. Like right here? We get in trouble. Oh, okay. So we'll, we'll get some pics right here. And uh, yeah, lighting's perfect. Sunset is behind us. We just took a few pics. And uh, yeah, man. Like, God art is on 10. They ch they chilling in a private pool that's not super private, but. I, I, can't, I still don't know if those are swim up rooms. I think they are. I on the website, see me. they had pics of a room that looked like a junior suite, but it had a pool in the back. And I was like, do you have junior suites with a pool? I asked the guy, I literally was on the chat, on the website. He's like, no, that room doesn't exist. I literally sent him the link to where the pic was. This pic is it. I, we had a whole argument. I'm feisty <laughs> these days. <laughs> we had a whole argument about it. I'm like, no, this is on your site. If it's not right, you need to take it down. And I'm like, actually, yes, that's wrong. Uh, I don't think that they put that in the right category. So we'll be sure to take that down. Oh, did you grab the uh, certificates? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Get my money right. All right. <laughs> Yeah, my money. Except through that little presentation now. Right, so 
we sat through a presentation that gave us $500 worth of food and beverage certificates. So we're about to put those to use. We used one last night. Probably gonna use two tonight. Two tonight, two tomorrow. And then two tomorrow night at Nobu. Free dinner for the win. Free din din. Listen, I will sit through any presentation they got if I get some free food, okay? They got a little event going on here, y'all. Suzuki is out here. Suzuki been killing it all week. Good evening. We are at dinner at Ardea, Ardea Steakhouse. That's what it looks like. We're sitting over here by the kitchen so we can see them make our food. I haven't really been on camera much this trip. Um, just trying to enjoy our last, our last little vacay before we have this baby. It's our last solo vacation, so just trying to make it count. But um, yeah, excited to try this food. This expensive food, hopefully it's good. No, dude. Okay. Um, this is their new restaurant, so we'll see how it is. This is our baked oyster with white porcelain sauce on top, parmesan cheese, and black truffle on top. Mmm. Enjoy. Thank you. Welcome. In that fried, in that big fried, fried like a chicken roll. Very tasty. Thank Enjoy. you. Thank you. What is this? Uh, oh, it's with the next one. We just bake on a short thing as well. Good morning. Today is Thursday, the last full day here. Um, this has been a really bummy vacation for me, honestly, as you can see, looking a mess. Um, but we're going to the spa. Probably when we get back, go to the pool um, and come back, get some pics, go to dinner tonight. And that's it, that will be done. I'm not doing anything else. This trip was really just a relaxation trip for me. I wasn't trying to do a whole lot. Um, my ankles weren't permit me weren't going to permit me to do anything else but chill. So I need to clearly I need to work out. I'm so out of shape. So yeah, we'll see y'all when we get back from this spot. What's good, y'all? Uh, today, chill day, rested. We slept good. I had a deep tissue massage. She told my back up. That wasn't even a deep tissue, that was just a regular massage. She did hard pressure. I mean, I needed, I needed that though. Get in there and break up all that. Then we got in the pool and just relaxed in the spa pool. I got in the steam room, I got in the sauna. Had a nice little time. Now we're about to get some lunch. When I started this, we are out at Pacific again and getting something to eat. Cam wanted tacos. Guess he didn't get his taco fix yet. What we did earlier. Can y'all see me? My face? Also, is there a way that I could get some tahini? Absolutely. <laughs> you want it just, you just want it? Yeah, or you want it on the rim? Yes, well, yeah, well, yeah, yes, I bring you, absolutely. Everything is possible. Yes. <laughs> Flour tortilla chips and Thank spicy aioli and green sauce. Thank you. Yeah. So we had our spa day. Um, it was nice. We got to swim in a little spa pool area. They turned off all the jets for me because I can't have any jets on. And um, I couldn't do the hydrotherapy. They suggested that I don't do it. Um, I looked it up. I can do hydrotherapy. I just can't do like hot tubs and stuff or anything with jets because the jets can like put too much pressure you know if you ever been in a pool and you've been on some jets you know what i mean i had a prenatal massage it was okay um i i wanted more pressure but i also wasn't in a position to where she could apply more pressure because i was like laying on my back and then laying on my sides it just i just I just wanna take my belly off sometimes. It's just be in the way. So I'm probably just gonna go to the chiropractor when I get back home, cause I need my back cracked. Landon cracked my back the other day and it felt so good. So I need to do that again. Um, but yeah, it was nice though. My body feels relaxed. 
My ankles aren't fat. Muscle relax. That's always a plus. Um, it's nice and hot today. I did not put on sunscreen. It's not really hot. I mean, it's not hot, hot. It's hotter than our climate at home, so that's all that matters. The pool did feel kind of cold. Overall, it's been a nice trip. I feel like it's been extremely short. It felt like two days instead of four. Which Legit, I, when I went to bed, I was like, damn. You gotta go home in a minute. Booking a um, makeup artist for our photo shoot that we have coming up. My Amazon stuff is almost here. It delivers on Tuesday, I think. So I get to try on all the samples. Hopefully, I pray in that they all fit amazing. Nothing looks too small or too big. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try everything on. I wasn't really supposed to be working on this trip. I still worked. Do the things that I have to do, but it's not a lot. So I feel like I wasn't really working. I do need to shoot a campaign before I leave. But it'll just be a get ready with me. Oh yeah, and I'm also getting ready for this baby shower, which is more work than I wanted it to be, even though I have a planner. Like, of course, they ask me questions about what I want, and I'm like, I don't, I don't want to care. Like, I don't want you to ask me, but I have to. <laughs> but I'd rather you just do what you want to do, and I don't care. Just send me the invoices. <laughs> it's definitely bittersweet. I mean, I mean, it's not like I'm not gonna ever come back on vacation, but it'll be different once we have a, a whole child. You know what I mean? Just trying to soak in all the freedom while I can. You know? Life is about to change. It's just weird because everything is about to change and it's so many changes happening at once that it's overwhelming for me. I really want to cry about it, but I'm not going to. Any thoughts, baby daddy? I feel very relaxed. Good, that's the goal. It's been a, so much going on lately. Oh my God. This month was a mess. Was... I didn't realize. My whoop been telling me though. You say this on every vacation. I didn't know how bad I needed a break until I got on vacation and realized I needed a break. Because I don't realize how much stuff I do. You do too much. And I be trying to tell you that. And one of the main things that Dr. Neem talked about when I first started you know, on my health journey is it's not always physical rest right. that you need. Right. For me, even though I'm super active, I be needing mental rest. You do. Mm. Oh my goodness. That looks that amazing. Incredible. Wow, that Jesus. looks so good. Yeah, so I need a rest. It's actually good that I didn't, because I did want to edit and do some other things. I, I was sick last week. First time being sick in two years, over two years. I didn't have COVID, just had a normal cold. Cause you know, those happen still. I don't know if people know <laughs> They do, that. they do. Um, I was down bad for a little while, but I'm back and I'm better. It's great to, you know, get some rest, relax, chill out with my wifey, you know, get the, the spa was perfect for us too. You know, she needs the TLC as well. So it's been great. When we get back, <clears throat> <laughs> I'll be back to the grind again. Mm -hmm. Like, as soon as we get back, I'm preaching a conference this weekend. So, and I'm trying to sneak a haircut in. Boylan always acting like he can't cut my hair. We'll pray for him later. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's a beautiful time. My wife is continually growing and more beautiful every time I see her. Aww. God is just enlarging your territory, <laughs> literally and figuratively. I've been feeling real ugly, y'all. Not ugly, but I know I'm not ugly, okay? Before y'all be like, no, you look amazing. I know, listen, and it's the, it's the really, com it's the comments that be like, you're carrying so well. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. 
I don't I don't know I don't I don't know the like the pregnancy lingo like that. Or just like the lady. At like the I, I don't tell people that they're said, carrying babies well, so I don't know what that the means. Cutest belly, the cutest belly. So are there uncute bumps? I don't know. I've never seen a. I, I, I've never I, seen an ugly bump, so I don't know what that means. I feel like sometimes people say things because they just want to say that I look cute, which is fine. That's cool. Yeah. But it, it's just weird because it's like. If you, I think in like positives and negatives. So when people compliment, the way people compliment always makes me think the opposite. So like if, if somebody says, oh, like your face is so cute during pregnancy. Does that mean some people's faces aren't cute when they're pregnant? You know what I mean? Like if I'm carrying well, what does carrying not well look like? That's what I want to know. Cause everybody keeps saying it and I'm like, I don't, I don't know what the opposite means, so I don't know how to process that, but thank you. I appreciate it. I just don't understand the, you know, what, what, what would it look like if I didn't carry well, you know? Yeah, besides that, I know I look good pregnant. When I wasn't pregnant, I would have clothes and I'd be like, oh man, this would look so cute on me if I was pregnant. Now that I am pregnant, I'd be trying on stuff and I'd be like, this is not cute. <laughs> it don't be looking right. And it's not that, I don't look good it's just it doesn't look the way I envisioned it when I put it on it's a weird concept um, some stuff just don't look right with a belly and also I have not cared about my hair at all I don't want to get my hair done I don't feel like sitting for hours to get my hair done I don't feel like driving or traveling to get my hair done and that's the only options I really have um, other than getting a silk press so I got a silk press for this trip and of course I'm on vacation so like obviously my hair's gonna be blowing everywhere it's kind of humid you know what I mean so it just so press did not work out hence the clip-ins and the clipped in real ghetto right now my hair is not out on top so if this hat flies off I am exposed but I just have not cared about my hair I don't know if I'm gonna leave my hair this color or if I'm gonna dye my roots or if I'm gonna dye it all black I don't know I don't know what's happening but it's just, man, it's tough. Cause I just don't care, but I have to care cause I don't need to be cute. So then I'd be feeling ugly and then I'd be feeling bad for Cam. Cause I'm like, I really don't care how my hair looks right now. I probably look a mess. He's probably like, wow, she needs to get her life together because that's how I'd be feeling. But I don't care enough to do anything about it. The cares are just not there, man. I want to be ugly in peace. I really do. But I got stuff coming up. November's gonna be very busy. So I have to be cute, so. Pray for me. And the black Baja tacos. And she got the fish tacos. You got the fish tacos. That's hot. Reservation was at seven. It was at six thirty. We about to see what's gonna happen. <laughs> we about this. We about to see. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Perfect. All right, we made it. Pretty cold, but we made it. Should have brought a sweater. Belly and all. I can go back to the room, grab my jacket. Maybe they'll have little things. <laughs> little things. Here, dinner res at Nobu, and uh, we're sitting on the balcony part. I mean, I think it feels great, but I'm clothed. Yeah, you're clothed. Hola, She's the one that's naked. Too. Hola. Hola. Welcome to Nobu Los Cabos. May I offer you a bottle of water to start? Uh, do you have sparkling? Yes. Sparkling, sparkling, please. Menu, senorita, at the end of the menu, you can find yeah. some non alcoholic options for you. Okay. Right? Thank you. Sparkling water on the way. 
Good morning. Today is Friday. It is the final day of our trip. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Went to the sunrise this morning. Just standing outside getting my last views of the ocean and the trees and the nature with no one in it, disrupting it, polluting it with their stinky breath and their <laughs> alcohol in there. <laughs> Um, loud music. It's nice and peaceful. I don't know if y'all ever have taken the time to literally sit outside and do nothing. I highly, highly, highly encourage at least maybe once or twice a week. If you can do more than that, excellent once a day for about 15 20 minutes is all you need but i highly encourage y'all to go outside take your shoes off walk around on the ground barefoot it's the most therapeutic thing you can do for your body if i haven't learned anything from the last few years that has been probably one of the most grounding experiences that i've done it really helps with anxiety it gives you peace. The earth has energy that literally heals your body if you let it, if you give it time to, if you're not always ripping and running everywhere in a car, in an office, you know what I mean? Like if you're outside with no shoes on and just enjoying the nature, it can heal you. There are healing properties in the ground, in the earth. I mean, science will tell you that. You don't even need your Bible to tell you that. The Bible will tell you that, but science will also tell you, and it proves it, which is how I know God is real, but I'm not gonna preach to y'all today. I feel like every time I go on vacation, that is what I'm doing. Taking time away from the busy schedule, all the chaos, from all the frustrating things that annoy me, piss me off, irritate me. Taking time away from all those things to just, Come to a place where I can do this. Not Cam taking pictures of me, but get outside, listen to the trees, listen to the wind, watch the sunrise every morning, watch the sunset every night. Things that you like take for granted, you know, things you don't really like appreciate. You're so busy with life, things that you don't ever really stop to think about, like how amazing that is that like constant things are happening around you and you're so worried about like all the anxious things all the chaotic things that you can't control but like there's so much controlled around you already that you don't have to worry about like you know the sun's gonna come up you know the sun's gonna go down you know what i mean like things like that just like center your thoughts and your focus it'll make you cry if you think about it long enough but yeah that's why i love vacations that's why i love vacations that's why you know, up until this point where we're about to, our lives are about to change a little bit more. Um, me and Cam have made it a requirement for us to go on vacations at least once a year to do this because it, it really helps to give us clarity. Like we have really good conversations when we stop and take time to just like rest, you know? We realize a lot of things it keeps us centered and i know it's like well i can't afford a vacation or i don't have time or i have kids blah, blah blah you can go in your backyard bro you can go to the park down the street from your house you can walk around your neighborhood if you live in a really cold climate you can go on a road trip you can catch a train to different parts of the listen there are no excuses to ignore the earth around you that is my psa that's my ted talk Thank you for joining. Well, I think we're gonna go to the restaurant and eat really quick and then head to the airport so we can head on home. And it's back to the regular degular. I know, boo. It's been real.